Hi, welcome to Abby's Book Reviews. This is my May book haul and there are quite a few books. Oops. <laughs> Only three of them are pre-orders. Um, two are on offer at Asda and then one is very late and one was a reprint through Illuma Crate. You can guess what they are. <laughs> Chain of Gold, which is book one in the Last Hours series. I was waiting to see if Waterstones had an exclusive edition or not, which they don't, but there is this Collector's First Edition. Um, it's like this burnt orangey um, end pages. And the Collector's First Edition has this print in the front. But then there's nothing else particularly. This is a beast. This is almost 600 pages. <laughs> what? Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people rave about this already and I'm really excited to kind of go back to like will test some gem like time. I know it's just after but really excited. Venom by Bex Hogan. This is the second in the Isles of Storm and Sorrow trilogy. I think this, this is a um, sequel to Viper which I really really enjoyed last year. It's due with these 12 islands. There's six on the east and six on the west and I can't remember which way around it was but six of them had like disappeared. Um, she's kind of got them back together um, but it's kick-ass and pirates and Oh, romance-ish. It's Prince. Dashing Prince. It's also a dashing pirate, <laughs> from what I remember. Really, really excited to get back into this world. Let It Go, which is one of the Twisted Tales. It's the Frozen-inspired one. I'm not sure I like how different the front cover is compared to the rest of the series, but it is a lot shorter than the others, so... I'm excited to see what's different. This is by Jen Galanta and these are endorsed by Disney as well. Straight Onto Morning by Liz Braswell. This is another one of the Twisted Tales. Um, so much thicker than the Frozen one. And it is Peter Pan inspired. I just love these covers where it's like all smoke and the shadows within. I've read the first three of these that came out um, so I have the rest. I just need to actually read them. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for them. The Deck of Omens by Christine Lynn Herman. This is the second in the Devouring Grey duology and I'm so excited for this. I love how it's blue writing or like the pinky purple, blue, uh, blue spine and then blue sprayed edges whereas the first one was like pink, pink spine, pink edges and like blue, blue background. So I really, really like how they go together. It means I can actually read them now. Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. This is the second in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. Um, I think there's another two have been signed. So really looking forward to more of this. Um, I haven't read this one yet. Don't know when I'm going to get to that. I do have kind of like a few that I definitely want to read in June, even if they aren't LGBTQ YA, just because there's some books I definitely want to get to, like quite quickly, and this is one of them. YA mystery thriller. So love the first one, so highly recommend it, and uh, really excited to see what's installed in this one. Reprint of Nevernight in hardback. So pretty black sprayed edges. <laughs> Sign. Thank you Jay for doing this. Oh, I just love them. Um, and because I've got Nevernight you had to get Girl Scrape as well which again is just stunning and has Eclipse on that one. I have already read these. <laughs> I've read these two twice. Um, 
yeah, this was just to finish off my hardback, UK hardback collection. Um, so yeah, really excited. Bone Cryer's Moon by Catherine Purdy. This is the fairy loot book of the month for March. Um, because of COVID, everything is getting pushed back. So hopefully they're going to start shipping the April boxes soon because it's almost oh, halfway through May. Don't know. And oh, this one has green sparkly edges um, signed on the end pages, which is a bit unusual for a fairy loot. But they're cute. Reverse dust jacket art as well. This is one that I've um, had on my wish list since last year, so I'm excited for it. And that is it for my May book haul. Cool. Um, let me know what you think of any of them if you've read them let me know what you got in May and I am planning my June videos so I'm hoping I'll be doing a video every Wednesday and Sunday from the beginning of June so I'm really excited to posting more content for you I'm gonna be doing some book tags um, maybe some themed recommendations um, yeah we'll see what we go but I am looking forward to it also let me know if you would rather me do a monthly wrap up or a weekly wrap up um, like a reading vlog or something I don't know let me know what you want to see I will probably also put something in my Instagram stories to see what you guys would prefer please like this video and subscribe to my channel it would make my day enjoy the book you're reading and I will speak to you soon